hey, there's loads of videos out there about glass effects, like where you almost have like a pane, but it has that frosted look to it. And there's loads of CSS codes and videos and tutorials, like I just said, out there. But there's a really simple way you could apply it. And we're gonna do that to this page right now. I'm gonna do that effect onto this, basically this column over here. So I'm just gonna click the column and we're gonna to go to advanced and custom CSS. And we're just gonna drop a bit of code in. And you're probably gonna be looking at this and going, was that it? So here's the code, frosted, backdrop filter blur six pixels, webkit, webkit backdrop filter blur six pixels as well. You'll notice it's got, it's referring to frosted. So let's just go to our advanced and put the word frosted. So as soon as we name the class frosted, we now have the frosted effect. Can you see that there? I've just changed it to be a parallax effect on the background, but look, can you see that? Look, as we move up and down, you get that frosty blurriness. Look, focus on the face over here. You can see it there. Let's just improve and make it so much more better. Let's go back over here, go to our column, go to our style, and we're gonna give this column a background color of, I mean, the traditional color is to just go for white. Okay, like that, which is way, way too strong. And I would say you wanna kind of just drop it down a bit and maybe go for something like that. So what we're now getting is there, we've got a transparency, but you're also getting that effect. Now I am just going to do something here uh, I'm just going to add in about 20 kind of like pixels padding all the way around for, the, for this area. And I'm going to give this a bit of a border radius of about 15. Uh, we could also go for a bit of a box shadow as well if we so want. A tiny one. We won't go too mental on that. So there we go. We now have this kind of frosted glass effect with that simple bit of CSS code. A bit of a transparency white background, a bit of a border radius and a bit of a shadow effect there. and it now should feel like it's slightly coming out at you on this effect, which is what the frosted glass effect is so good at. Let's just double check some other settings on here. Back to advanced. You notice that it says six pixel. Well, what happens if I do 60? And I think you can now see what's going on here, yeah? It's now totally, totally blurred. And what if I drop this down to be one? Like so, let's just do it over here as well. Not much of an effect, right? So you can mess around now with how much of an effect are you trying to create with that blur. I think six works perfectly well, but if you want to go for like 10 or even lower, you can do that entirely up to you. This code will be, I'll put it back to six as well, by the way, because I think that's, that's what I'll stick in the description over there. Okay, please look, have fun with that. Stick it in your column. I mean, look, you can also, if you, I mean, I would, it wouldn't be so much of a good effect if you did the entire section. It works much better when you do it like this, if that makes sense, what's what I'm saying. But the frosted effect um, for your column, I think is really, really cool to do. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and have fun.